So what we're doing here today is we have 74 horses here at Horses of Turnitin that need their annual dental. So we normally have three vets, but unfortunately Dr. Harlan was not able to join us today. So we have a total of 74 horses that need to be done, but we're just, our goal is to do 57. The other ones will be done on a, a different day, which includes the Burroughs and Sunny, and then a special needs horse. So we'll, we'll get all of them done another date. So what we have is we have two vets from ECLAP and Dr. Chandler and Dr. Omen. They've been out here many times um, for the annual and then also for regular care. And then our general group here, we have um, volunteers from Horses of Ternanaga, which is myself. I'm also an animal control officer working for animal services. But our CART team, San Diego County Animal Response Team, is who the handlers are. So huge resource and it's a good training uh, opportunity. So what we're doing is it takes about 10 minutes to fully sedate a horse. So we are sedating and then having them waiting in the wings. So over here we have a second uh, group that is um, rotating. You can see this horse, how he's walking is uh, quite sedated just slightly and then he will add a little more if necessary. They'll put a mechanism on their head which opens their mouth. It's a mechanical advantage to keep their um, head up and that's the stand there. Speculum. Okay. So it goes in and hold the mouth, mouth open. And then it stays open so that he can use the drill or a file, whatever is necessary. So a lot of these guys, you know, they all are obviously from this ranch now that they've been here, but some of them are more herd buddies than others. So that's why they're calling out to each other. So this is a quick and easy way that we figure out a weight on a horse. We use a, a tape measure that's got weight, weight on it. So we're going to wrap it starting at the withers and then go around the full body and then get the measurement that way. chewing surface are called the occlusal surface and you see how their teeth are angled so their teeth grow their whole life and as they grow they grind this part but this part ends up with these ridges that form sharp points and you see like that horse got a little sore right there on his cheek and that's where like these points right here are what we'll take down and then along their tongue on the bottom you see these has a pretty good they don't look bad pretty good mouth you know the teeth are actually good it's just got these sharp points so this is what you just yeah. kind of this is like a routine float yep. where we just smooth out this and that's why it's so important at the minimum to get it done every year to at least check And then we can walk over to the other vet, Dr. Chandler. I can work around it. So if you see, like, we just get right on the edges there. This is like a reverse conical shaped bit that actually, like, it kind of naturally puts in the proper angle. The diamond bit. Yeah, it's super smooth, like, they really... So, like, and this was a horse, like, that we've done routinely for several years, and so... Okay, so this horse here, it, this is where the fine line of is still moving, cause so they're pretty smart about that to where if they think they're gonna fall down, they just stop and then kind of weeble wobble. Okay. Them. But, and what's kind of fascinating, especially with um, any of the drug usage, if you go over to the left here, this is Shakespeare and Missy, and they both needed about the same because Missy is a little mini with the attitude, so she took a little bit more and he's, uh, Arab gelding and they typically need a less cocktail and so we do keep very careful documents every year 
anytime they're sedated or what care is done to them so that each time it is a little bit with more knowledge versus the first time we go to dosa. So we take them from their corral and then put them back. We have two girls that really know these horses well and so there are uh, handlers of going and getting the animals each time. And that helps us out. Whoa, nice save there, Julie. This is not a good example. No, but it's a, it's a good example of drug usage of some that works and some that doesn't. And sometimes, you know, just like when we go to the dentist, everything's all good and then they hit one spot and it's like, whoa. So that's why it's really important that this horse has a place to go, which he clearly can go backwards. And so that's the safety things that make sure nobody's behind him. Ideally, you would have a handler on only one side so that the horse could come to the other side. But with this procedure, that's just not possible. I like, I like his little muzzle. See his muzzle, you get that quivering. Yeah, can you see the dust? The dust from the tooth? Just general I, movement. I would expect that somebody would be using the whole that tongue for the whole time. Yeah, it lays nicely. He's getting, he's getting around it, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's always a big thing when somebody who got one person is in. Their job mm -hmm. is just to hold the tongue. Dr. Oman showed us too, but this one's it's just different. Yeah. Looking a bit different. Carry. What is it called? Infundibular carry. Got it. So the couple people on the right, one's a vet student and the other is a nursing student. So okay. All good to see the different medical. And depending on their mouth and how much, you know, situation they need to change will depend on how long it takes, right? Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah, and Dr. Chandler is a perfectionist, so. Yeah. Night and day, with a, can you imagine? Yeah. Have you guys done so far? Do you know? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So this okay. team alone has done eleven. Okay. <laughs> she couldn't get the halter, so I helped her. Come on, Gypsy. She's a mare. <laughs> Two cc's? Wow. Yeah, it's it's a definite fine art on the correct dosage for their. Did that work? This one. Yeah. So what'll happen is then then we'll wash her mouth out, and this is his first day doing it, but he's he's learned that how to do it now, huh? You got it. The first time wasn't as smooth, <laughs> but he's got it down pat now. So now, see how nicely she's standing though? So even with two cc's, yeah, two cc's is a, is a nice cocktail for her. Because she's still standing upright, but she's, you know, tolerating what's happening to her without, right? Because before she was uh, kind of flying backwards and not, you know, staying still. That is a lot of chemistry. I'm, I'm, I'm still waiting for it to somewhat kick in. It was doing really good for the majority of that. You guys, did she get her vaccines and stuff while she waited? Done? Gypsy Rose? Okay. I would agree. And I'm going to put a check because you're going to do it right now. Yes, that is the importance of teamwork, to check in.
so we're gonna follow her over to get vaccinated. So now we're documenting exactly what happened. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Not a big deal. And then we do the wormer. And this is done by weight. So this is kind of a variable with a large horse like this. Generally, we'll give them the whole dosage because there's always a little bit that doesn't um, yeah. go. But if it's a mini, obviously, we're going to shorten it down a little bit. And the manufacturer did a great job of making sure this cap doesn't fall off. <laughs> so I'm going to bring her head up a little bit. And if you put it in between the tooth and the gum, it usually will stay there and not fall out. If you put it on their tongue in the back, they just kind of spit it out. So if it was a gelding, we would be cleaning the sheath, but mares yeah. don't get to have that treatment. So she's actually got a great sedation on her, so that was pretty good going around versus a stubbling. When they're a little, you know, had an extra cocktail, they're kind of scary to watch because you hope they don't fall down. But we're really careful on how fast we and hard we turn them. And they I tell you, ponies, right? Do you want some help? Okay then. So this is Salsa. Salsa is not really very excited to get sedated today. He doesn't like going to the dentist. Neither do I. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, he's. It, it is not uncommon that little minis they. It, it they're oftentimes when they're raised they're treated like little pet dogs and they get to do whatever they want they're okay. rather than treated like horses okay and spoil. so like they kind of just like they don't have like good distance respect on people like a horse typically would back away or move away and they'll just come right at you like he he was doing mm -hmm. and so we're just trying to get something to distract him enough to get a needle in to give him sedation okay and so we tried couple of various methods like um, a nose twitch and a neck twitch and he didn't like either one of those. Usually they'll fight it a little bit but once you get them kind of twitched then they relax and he just wasn't doing it. I guess okay. it's because his name is Salsa and he's spicy. <laughs> <laughs> you know and sometimes it's just like they like just not giving up and making sure that they they get it done. So you're thinking of giving this one a little bit of time and doing somebody else? No, he. I, I just wasn't sure if he got all of the sedation yeah. IV, but it looks like he's getting sleepy. Yeah, so he's calming down. He's now. at least at getting eyes. enough to where we could give him a little bit more, probably without too much trouble. Yeah. Look, just some minty fresh breath here for some little <laughs> rinse. Oh yeah. Oh, there you go. It looks like he's gonna need just a little bit more, I think. And the drug you're using, and how much? This is Dermosidan, and we're giving him three milligrams. He already had five. Wow. And does not want three more milligrams. It's okay, buddy. There. So we got that, Success. no problem. He tried to bite me again. Point three. Yeah, point three more. He wasn't, he wasn't succeeding with trying to strike me, so he tried to bite me. <laughs> <laughs> the only reason I'm doing this. Oh, I'm sorry. Good job. Whoops. I forget. I can't walk away from Roger. <laughs> Living through chemistry is a wonderful thing. What do I have? I have a... Um, Okay. 
Not so bad, buddy. So what is... He's a strong little boy. What's his name? Cisco. 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 Oh, yeah. He was uh, impounded with a whole bunch of other animals. How much uh, of what did you give him? I got 0.25 of Torb, 0.25 of Dorm, and 0.5 of Medazzle. He seems like a kind of nice weight. Yeah, I, I'd give him a five. Especially he's for these guys. Exercise, I'll tell these, you that. Yeah, he's in charge of that entire clan, pretty much, right? Is that mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Here, watch your. Oh. Your boot. I don't Hold on. You. Oh, little one. Right. You open your mouth a little bit. Oh, yeah. There we go. Mm -hmm. Oh, one. Another one. He's going to lay down. Unless we do something different. <coughs> there we go. His legs are crossed. There we go. His front legs are crossed. Well, his back legs were crossed. It was, go it was going down. Jeez, Watch yourself, Julie. Let me have those front go. legs. Okay, there you go. Okay. But, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Where are you going? Come on. Down. But okay. people, it's all right. It's a unique way of um, holding a horse, but you know. I'm not too concerned about donkey kicking, but it could happen. I think it would work worse for him than me. Yeah. Oh yeah. And a little wobbly. Should we just let him go lay down? Want me back there? No, I'm fine. I don't have to go to the gym today. <laughs> Okay, there we go. This is what hips are for. <laughs> I use my wallet in my front pocket. You got it? Yeah. This is actually fairly comfortable right now. His legs are crossing in the back again. There we go. I got him. Oh, no, there we go. He's he's sinking. There's no recovery here unless he goes forward. Okay, sorry. Okay. Use your legs. Come on. All right, we're good. Good boy. Yeah, they sure this is, are. These guys all had a very nice, successful drug dosage. Sleeping it off. Life is good. No problem. <laughs>